Fed telling us it's basically on a hold when it comes to raising interest rates anytime soon. And everyone worried about what could happen overseas if Britain votes to leave the EU next week. You need to be focused on the stocks of consistent, domestically oriented companies with big fat dividends. That's been my theme for weeks now. Take Dominion Resources, one of the largest gas and electric utilities companies in the United States. Bountiful 3.8% yield, multi-year favorite of ours. Dominion is exactly the kind of steady, eddy, domestic company that could be a terrific buy if it ever comes down, courtesy of a market-wide sell-off that everyone's so scared of. With the stock currently just a couple bucks off its 52-week highs, well, you know what? We can only hope it gets hammered next week. Gives you a rare pullback, although I doubt you'll get one. Now, the last time we spoke with Dominion at the beginning of February, the company had just announced that it was buying Questar. That's a natural gas pipeline storage and distribution company for $4.4 billion. And just last month, Questar shareholders approved the merger. The deal is supposed to be immediately added to Dominion's earnings, and based on the strong quarter the company reported last month, that means the numbers here could be really fabulous once this acquisition closes. Higher numbers often means higher dividends. So let's check in with Tom Farrell. He's the chairman and CEO of Dominion Resources. Find out more about how this company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Farrell, welcome back to Mad Money. Good evening, Jim. Good to be with you. Tom, before we get into the numbers, and you know, I care passionately about the numbers and the dividends, I just you know, I, I came upon something I think we have to talk about. Uh, 20 percent since 2011, 20 percent of your new hires have been military veterans. Uh, tell me why and tell me why more aren't like you. Uh, well, we started this program, Jim. Thanks for asking about that. It's 20 uh, percent of all of our new hires since 2011 have been veterans, which is, brings our total of our workforce. We have a little about 15,000 employees, a little over 10 percent, about 11, almost 12 percent of our employees now are veterans. Uh, and we're going to continue that pace uh, at trying to get at least 20 percent a year. It's not, it's not a quota system, but uh, veterans uh, fit the job, the culture of our company and of our industry generally. We started the program in 2011. We're trying to get it uh, industry-wide across the United States. Many of uh, my colleagues in the industry are doing similar uh, kinds of programs. I come from a, a military family. My father and my grandfather uh, were both uh, career Army uh uh, veterans. So uh, military, I grew up on military posts all across the country. So it's very important to me personally, uh, but it fits the culture of our company very closely. Yeah, it's very important to the country. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for, for, for making that possible and for giving people, really, I mean, giving people a place to go. Lots of the companies we deal with have nowhere near that same ratio. Now, you are about to uh, close soon on Questar, which is a gigantic deal. It's going to change the makeup of the company. It's kind of like a go west young man strategy. You're an eastern company. Why do this? Everything's going so well for Dominion as it is now. Well, Jim, it's a great question. There's actually uh, midterm uh, reasons for it and really longer term uh, ver reasons for it. As you know, we're uh, big in the electric utility business. We're also big in the pipeline gas storage transportation business. We don't produce gas. Uh, we're a very large transporter in the Marcellus Utica region, the eastern United States, which is one of the largest gas finds in the world. We're building an LNG export facility in the east. But looking out long term, 10, 20, 30 years out, we wanted to make sure that we had diversity of geography so that we could continue to expand our gas infrastructure business once the east uh, gets built out. Now, that's going to take a decade. Mm -hmm. But if you, with a company like Dominion, you need to be thinking out uh, longer than how this quarter is going to go or this year is going to go. You need to be thinking much longer term. Questar is a great company. It's a great region of the country, fastest growing state in the country. Uh, and we're looking forward to uh, closing the transaction, uh, certainly by the end of this year. Okay. Now, Tom, you have a, a vast panoply of different facilities. You have coal and nuclear. I'm going to ask you point blank because you're the best nuclear operator in the country. And you got that. I'm taking that from empirical data. Will there ever be a new coal plant built in this country again, and will there ever be a new nuclear plant other than the ones that have already been started building in this country? I think uh, we, I think our coal plant that we built in, in the southwestern part of Virginia and finished in 2012 will be the last coal plant built in the United States. That's it. Uh, as far as um, uh, new nuclear, I think that's all going to depend on what happens with the clean power plan uh, over not just really the next five years, which is the, the initial uh, compliance deadlines, I'm thinking more longer the next 20, 30 years. It'd be difficult for the country to meet the ultimate carbon goals uh, without more nuclear being built. But I think that's a decade or more away. All right, uh, last question. I've always been talking about you, you, you offer a great, great dividend, but you're also the lowest cost power company. 
Uh, data farms have been an amazing story for us. We've been recommending them. Are they still being built and still taking advantage of Dominion's low-cost power? They sure are. Uh, we expect, uh, we, I think we opened 12 last year, and we're expecting 10 or 12 this year. So it, they still come here, low-cost power, reliable power, and there's a, and there's a community, uh, which is uh, lots of fiber. So they come, yes, and they're, con they're continuing to come. And when they say data farms, I mean, these could be places that supply for Amazon or for Google. I mean, there's, it's the companies that really just use a huge amount of power, and it, it hurts their bottom line if they're not with Dominion. It does, and actually, uh, Jim, many of them are interested in getting power from renewable sources. We're building an 80 megawatt uh, solar farm for Amazon uh, in uh, the eastern part of our state right now. It'll be finished later this year. So uh, that's uh, something else we're working on. We entered into a transaction not long ago. It's the only one like it in the country where the power from a solar plant farm, we will build the solar farm. The power will go to the Commonwealth of Virginia's government office buildings. Microsoft bought and then retired will retire the renewable tax credits. Uh, so that they're not, they're, they're using their money to help promote uh, uh, renewable power in Virginia through this unique contract. It's the only one of its kind in the country. Well, I, I think it's, you guys, you guys are unique in many, many ways. Tom Farrell, Dominion Resources Chairman and CEO. Always great to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. You can do good, you can do well, and you can make money for shareholders. Sometimes things are pretty good. It's Tom Farrell, and the letter is D. Mad Money's back here to the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.